So there are some times when you're going to want to create a CSV or comma separated values file. A lot of times there will be websites that will ask for this, especially when you're uploading a class list. For example, you might be trying to use the website GradeCam and it's asking you to come up with a CSV file for each class. First thing you're going to want to do is get an Excel file of your class. Hopefully whatever student management software you're using can generate this file for you. Once you create a file, just like this sample file here, you're going to want to delete all the extra information. So for example, in my situation, all I need is ID number, last name, and first name. I don't need any of these columns right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the top column right here, right on that letter D. And you can see here that when I get up to that spot, my pointer turns into an arrow from like a cross to an arrow. So I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to hold down the shift button and go all the way over to the last column that I want to delete. Click on that as well. Now I've highlighted everything. What you're going to do now is again on one of these letters up top, making sure you have that downward facing arrow, you're going to right click on here. If you are on a Mac, sometimes you might need to click control click if you don't have right click enabled. Then I'm going to scroll down to delete. Now they're all gone. I also have this row right here I want to get rid of. Same thing, I'm going to go over to the number. Again, I have the arrow. I'm going to click on it, right click, and delete. Now I'm ready to save this file. So I'm going to go up to File, click Save As. And then you want to choose the format that says comma separated values or CSV. Once you do that, choose where you want to save it, give it a name, and click Save. It'll ask you if you are sure you want to continue. Just say yes. And then you're all done. And now you have your CSV file ready to be uploaded to whatever site you need it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out all of my tips at the techsavvyscienceteacher.blogspot.com. Thank you.